Sweat issues come in various forms, and each has its unique challenges. There's more to hyperhidrosis from focal to generalized than meets the eye. Knowledge is power, and without further ado, let's start the show. stigmatization of sweat issues and how it impacts the quality of life. So it's very evident that when you talk to someone with sweat issues, if a client, I don't want to call them patients, but if a client reaches out to hyperhidrosis awareness Kenya and they struggle with sweat, whether it's hyperhidrosis or bromhidrosis or any other sweat-related issue. When we start engaging with them, you now having that one-on-one -on -one conversation, it can be in person or it can be via um, you know, a chat on a social media platform, maybe through Messenger, WhatsApp, or a phone call, at the end of every call or chat, they always leave that note of, for the first time, I have engaged an organization, or in this case, if it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Martin, for the first time, someone has listened and has understood me. For the first time, an organization has understood my sweat issue. Do you know how encouraging that feels? Not, not, not to me, per se, well, don't get it twisted. I'm so elated and filled with joy when the work, the advocacy, it's paying off. And you see, it's not, I'm not even looking at the money aspect of it. I'm looking at the impact. But to hear someone with sweat issues, because it doesn't matter the age, but anyone who struggles with sweat, regardless of their age, they have struggled with it all by themselves. And we are talking of a long period of time. We are talking about years. And for someone to tell you, for someone to tell Martin, and for someone to reach out to HAK, and those are the, like the final words that come out of them that, for the first time, someone has listened to me. I look at the individual and I can't help but be filled with joy because this, to me, is a start of a new journey for them. You can imagine how many people they've talked to. They have parents. They have siblings they have spouses but here comes an individual myself i'm a stranger to most of them they've known me through the advocacy the work i do they have known hak as the foundation that caters for them that goes above and beyond for them. 
and that they have found peace through this organization. So HAK is not just giving you topical treatments, which are very important to manage your sweat issues, but HAK is also supporting you. There is that psychosocial support because we know with hyperhidrosis, with sweat issues, with body odor issues, there is no physical pain. There's no physical pain. However, there is the slow death. No one has ever died of a physical death that they sweat themselves to death. However, there is the slow death characterized by social, social and psychological issues and traumas that come with it. So that psychosocial support to any individual struggling with sweat is way important than the actual treatment because that is the first step. 